so we're back. It's been a long time and I need to put new shocks on this. So we went to pull it in and now it's pissing, cooling everywhere. So bring this right up. I just got this sled, so you know, that's not the best thing ever, but is that coolant right there? No. No. Watch out. Coming out of right here from this knot, let's. Watch out, let me get down there. Oh, boys, coming out of right here. There's nothing down there. Oh, wow. I see a bolt. <laughs> a loose. Grab something and put it under this, it stops leaking. Hey guys, so. She's coming along well. Okay, so the pipe should pull right off. That's warm already. God darn, we just started it. Okay, so exhaust smells amazing. So it's a can. <laughs> I guess I don't know what kind it is, but it's loud and it goes brat. But the best kind. Now let's start it. No. no. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so this didn't help at all with the coolant. It's definitely behind the motor. I'm excited. So let's take that belly thing, the pan off the bottom. Oh, that's not even bad. Yeah. No, it just needs a new line. Yeah. Just being the big but it needs a new line on the bottom of the engine. I don't know where the other side goes. <laughs> <laughs> At least this sled, you can like take the belly pan right off. Okay, guys, I guess we're not mechanically inclined to take shocks off. So we're just going to start sanding down. So the we're starting to redo the hood. We are trying to find masks right now because there's paint thinner and between that and the sanding, it probably is not the best for you. So... We're trying to find the stinking masks that we had at one point. And so, for the last 54 minutes, that's what the camera says, we've been screwing around with this hood. Basically, we gave up on the shocks. And we sanded everything, taped it off, and we're going to paint the entire thing black now because the person who painted it before was a meathead and didn't do anything that you needed to do, they just rattle canned it. Speaking of rattle can, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do it right. That's about how it's gonna work. Now we just gotta figure out a way to hang it up in a spot where paint isn't gonna bother and try not to get high. <laughs> hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the SEMA paint hey. booth. <laughs> where it's the next day because yeah i know it is it's still um what, what was i saying it's the next day because we had to go get some more paint and last night i just got tired and it was cold and today it's 50 degrees so we can actually do it without having to have the heater on too much so we're just we finished standing up a little bit getting all the stuff off it real quick dust and then, dust that's yeah. the word yeah and then it's the next step of painting it yeah, painting it. So, uh, yeah, plastic. We've got a big roll of plastic that we need to lay on the floor and so that we don't make a black. We're going to set you up and uh, set up our SEMA paint booth. So, I hope you guys like time lapses because we don't have enough time or give a damn to edit this much of a video. So, we're going to do lots of time lapses. Have fun. Okay, well, there will be plenty of editing. It's just, Hopefully, just that's here. good enough.
Okay guys, we uh, got the hood back on and it looks amazing in person. On the camera, I don't know if you can really see it. But it has sparkles. It doesn't show up, but in person, dude, it looks amazing. It's way better than before either way. There's a few spots we need to touch up, like right here. There's some sticker residue from before. So I'm just gonna rough that up and redo it there anyways, but that's not hard. That won't take long, but it looks a lot better. So yeah. Now to stick the shocks off and fix the coolant. You knock it off the jacks.